Hey guys, what's up? It is Wednesday and it's raining. It wasn't supposed to rain, but we did seal the windows. We did that first thing Monday because it was supposed to rain Thursday. Well, Wednesday and Thursday. And then I checked the weather and it wasn't supposed to rain today, but guess what? It's been raining since one. So we'll see how everything looks. I'm looking at the windows now and I don't see any water. So awesome. Let's see. Yesterday for breakfast, we had oatmeal and then I made some vegan nachos. So I cooked some corn tortillas in the oven and then I made some refried beans and some cheese sauce, vegan cheese made out of carrots and potatoes and nutritional yeast and some spices. Tastes nothing like cheese, but it slightly resembles nacho cheese. So I guess maybe it's a mind thing, but it was good. We put tomatoes on them and they were pretty tasty. And then we had a smoothie for dinner. The same old, same old smoothie. Dozer's hungry, apparently. I've already cooked his sweet potato, so now he's ready. Um, today we had toast with peanut butter for breakfast. And then for lunch I made us some sandwiches with avocado, tomato, and romaine. And those were really good. And then tonight for dinner we're going to have Puerto Rican beans which have pinto beans and peppers and potatoes and onions. I'll take a picture of that. And then homemade corn tortillas because you only have to mix like two things to make corn tortillas, water. And that was the heater, this stuff. So we're gonna give it a shot. I don't have a tortilla press. So if anybody's out and about at a thrift store and sees a tortilla press, you might wanna snag that for us cause we've looked everywhere. and. Haven't found one. We can order it, but I think this is the way to go because they're probably going to be healthier. There's only um, corn treated with lime is the only ingredient in here. So this and water. So I'm going to roll them out with a rolling pin and see. They're not going to be round, but whatever. I'm sure they'll taste the same. So I'll show you what those look like. And uh, hopefully it quits raining so we don't have to build an ark to get the hell out of here. So stay tuned for the... Uh, dinner I'll show you how it looks like later okay so we're gonna try these tortillas I'll show you so it's in Spanish but two cups of this stuff probably hear the dogs fish cooking over here and then a cup and a half of water we're gonna give this a little mixy mixy see what happens So I watched a bunch of videos on this and it's supposed to be simple, so we'll see. Soft dough it says. It's like a soft dough. We're going to put them on a plate because you have to form them into balls and then cover them with a towel. So and I don't really know how big to make them. It says equal balls. So if they're big, whatever, I don't think it much matters. You can see the steam from the fish. I'm going to try to roll them out with a rolling pin and see what happens, but I got some plastic wrap in the pantry, so maybe I'll give that a whirl because I think they'll like stick to everything. It was like warm. That's a bonus. So Dale actually found this recipe, he saw it, and he's like, oh, that looks good. That we're going to have for dinner, the Puerto Rican beans. He really likes beans. Like, he could totally just eat beans all the time. 
I mean, I don't have anything against beans. I just don't really think they taste like anything, and I don't know if I'd want to eat them constantly. Although you're supposed to eat, I think, two servings or three servings a day, according to Dr. Greger. I don't know. That's a lot of beans, if you ask me. Oh, you know, yesterday we did have three oranges. Well, we split them, so an orange and a half each as a little snack. That was pretty tasty. Dozer's pacing because the fish is cooking. Are you hungry, buddy? He's in here staring at me. Tucker must be napping. He's not hungry, apparently. He doesn't like to come through the curtain. Dozer doesn't care. He'll just knock that down to get to whatever it is that he wants. Huh, buddy? You gonna say hi? Tell everybody you're hungry. Are you hungry? Are you hungry? Here comes Tucker. Dozer's up here. Get down. That is a tortilla eating dog. He has loved tortillas and tacos and everything since he was a little guy. Tucker does too. Well, Tucker just loves food. He's kind of a, a little scrounger. He'll fight Dozer for food. Wow, this made a lot of tortillas. So now they have to rest until we're ready to use them. And when the fish is done, I guess I'll come back and attempt to roll them out and I'll show you how that goes and then fry them up and then we'll taste them. Then we'll make the dinner and see how it goes. Okay, bye. Alright, we're going to attempt this. I fought the plastic wrap off camera, so I don't have to see that. Okay. So we're going to make like a tortilla press, huh? <laughs> Not round. I guess I could have had some more space, but. One on. Then I tried to go all different directions, but it's just not. Hmm. Now, I've got to peel the plastic wrap right off. Maybe that's not the way to do it. But here's a little one. I have my uh, cast iron pan heating. So we'll see how it goes. Maybe I'll try another one minus the plastic wrap. That certainly didn't work. to the rolling pin. Huh. Well, perhaps the tortilla press is the way to go. Hmm. Or the plastic wrap method. I guess we'll try that again. Here we go. Let's see. Does anybody else hate this stuff? Yeah. I get the bowl out of my way. Let's get two pieces. So it's supposed to sit here and bubble. That guy. Huh. And then you flip them over. Look at that. It's cute. Oh. I think this guy's done. You think? Hmm. I think it said medium high. Maybe I'll put like two together. And then I don't have to make them so thin, maybe. Yeah. Okay. 
This shit's fun. Thick corn tortillas. Oh, see, that's what you do. Got it now. Okay, I think this guy's done. Let's try this guy. Let's see. Let's see. Pretty good. That's actually really good. That's like way better than store-bought tortillas. Ooh, they're nice and soft. That's pretty good. Wow. That's pretty good. I'm impressed. It's going to be good with our dinner. I'm going to show you this guy, and then I'll make the rest. Let's see if we can get this guy out of the plastic. Okay, he's gonna come off, but I don't wanna take him off until I'm ready to put him on the pan. Maybe this needs to be a little higher, let's see. This guy looks done. He's <laughs> pretty sad and pathetic, but okay. The best one. Look at this guy. He's like perfect. Look at That's kind of great. I have to be down here because the camera's low. I have it on a tripod. We have the curtain closed. It's always closed. Mom knows this, but that bed is a giant pain in the ass to make. I made it yesterday because I washed the sheets and the blankets. I just kind of pull the blankets up, but it's never quite perfect because it's in a corner and you can't walk around it and you can't really tuck it in. That's awful. So. We just close the curtain. Nobody needs to see that. It's all good. The dogs are back there chewing on their bones because they ate like wolves. Wow, this thing's great. Look. Look at that. It's steaming. Can you see the steam? Look at that. See, it's not, it's not loose yet. Wow. I might just live off of corn tortillas. These are pretty good. It's like my hairdo. This is like my new thing because it's humid because it's been raining and I have poodle hair, so this is the way to go. This is great. Just go watch it. Ooh, it's loose. Let's see. It's not brown on that side though. No, we'll flip it over. We don't want to mess the perfect one up. This might be the only perfect one in the batch. It's nice out though. It's cool. It, I think it quit raining. I have the door open so I can see outside. The rain will probably help the crops. I forgot what I planted because there's nothing growing. Aside from the sunflower seeds and the wildflowers. I think there was cantaloupe. Maybe it was zucchini. I don't remember. It'll be a surprise if they grow. <clears throat> Watched a video guy, or a video guy, a guy on YouTube who was talking about growing onions. He planted those things in December, and he didn't pull them out of the ground until June 15th. Seriously, it takes that long. Seven months to grow onions. I was buying them at the store. I thought maybe those would be easy to make, but they're not, apparently. They look good, though. And they weren't even that big. He said they were giant, but they were like, like the onion I bought today is bigger than that. It's probably got all kinds of crazy steroids and stuff we shouldn't be eating, but whatever. Looks like my wrinkly skin from that. Just put it on high. Let's see. I'm just gonna watch it. Some of the videos I saw, like they puffed up, so then it made two layers of tortillas. That was kind of cool. You could like stub stuff in there. But 
Then some I saw they said that they never get theirs to puff up, so I don't know. See that? Looks like my skin. It's not brown though. This cast iron pan's like screaming hot though. Probably supposed to let it be. I'm impatient, that's not gonna happen. Oh. It's puffing. It's wholly puffing. Look, watch, 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 watch. Can you see it? Can you see it? Look at it, it's puffing. Check that out. See, I told you it was a perfect one. It's like the only one. It's gonna come out perfect. Oh, look at it. Look at it. Oh my gosh, can you see it? We'll flip it over. Oh, it deflated. Oh. That's so exciting. So high. That's the ticket. Oh, I think it's done. Okay, I'm going to make more. I'll show you when I'm all done. And then I'll let you know what the, the husband thinks when we're done. He's the tortilla connoisseur. He likes corn tortillas. I mean, who doesn't like corn tortillas, really? All right. Dinner was super tasty. That was one of the better things that we've ever eaten for sure. I mean, that's going to be on the regular rotation. I did forget to mention, though, that I made hibiscus tea on Tuesday, Monday. I don't know. But it's hibiscus tea with mint and amla and ginger and you blend it all up and it's supposed to taste like a fruit punch it doesn't want to taste like a fruit punch but it's pretty good so we've been drinking that too so i'll insert a picture of that it's pretty tasty it's red even so like the vegan cheese it kind of fools your mind um the tortillas were amazing dinner was amazing so uh I'll see you guys later. Don't forget to please like the video and subscribe. Stay tuned for all the wonderful vegan plant-based fun that we're going to have here.